Hello everyone, welcome to Cam Tire Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to work on how to crochet a daisy granny square. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. Okay, so we have our granny square here. This is what it looks like. We're going to be working with three different colors. So I hope everyone knows how to change colors. I'm going to show you how to do that anyway. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to take our yellow here and we're going to make a magic circle. Now you don't have to make a magic circle if you don't want to. You can go ahead and chain four and then slip stitch into the first stitch of your chain four and go ahead and make your circle. Once you've made your circle, you want to go ahead and make 11 double crochets into your circle going all the way around. So I'm going to start off with my magic circle. I'm going to chain four. And I'm going to go and double crochet. I'm sorry, only chain three. <laughs> I'm going to go in with 11 double crochets into this circle. So when I have my 11 do double crochets, I will be back. Okay, so I have my 11 double crochets and we're going to go ahead and switch colors. So our next color is going to be this white. So go ahead and put your hook into that stitch, into that chain stitch at the top of the chain stitch and pull your white yarn through and do a slip stitch and chain four. So now in that same space where we made our slip stitch, we're going to go ahead and make uh, a triple crochet. So yarn over twice, go back into that same space where you put your chain when you made your slip stitch and make your treble crochet. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Go around twice on your hook again and make another treble yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and chain two go into your next stitch with three more trebles but we're going to crochet them together so yarn over and pull up your loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two now take and yarn over your hook two more times again go back into that stitch again pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and leave three loops on your hook yarn over twice again go back into that same stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and now you'll have four on your hook yarn over and pull through all four of those loops and chain two and just continue doing this all the way around these are the petals of your flower so go into that next stitch with another treble crochet yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over twice again go back into that stitch again yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two again and one more time go back into that stitch again yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through all four of your loops and chain one so i'm going to continue this and i'll be back at the beginning Okay, so now we're back and we have our petals in here. We're going to go ahead and switch colors again. So grab your green yarn. Um, you want to go into that top stitch, go into the fourth chain, the top chain of the, um, actually, I'm sorry, you're going in between those loops. So go ahead and put your green in there and go ahead and do a slip stitch and chain four
Now we're going to go back in with a treble. We're going to go back in with two more treble crochets. We're working on the corner portion of this granny square. So go ahead and make another uh, treble crochet. You want to have three treble crochets in this one section. That includes that four chain that you made in the beginning when you changed colors. So chain one and then go into your next stitch with double crochets. So you're going to make three double crochets in the next space. Right where you made that two chains in the previous row, you're going to put your three double crochets in there. Chain one, go into the next one with three double crochets. Stay with me now, we're about to change up. This is two. And your final double crochet into here in that same space chain one now in your next space we're going to make another corner so you're going to yarn over twice again and go into this space here with three treble crochets three triple crochets you're not crocheting them together you're just going to make three separate treble crochets into this stitch here into this space once you've made your three treble crochets, you're going to chain two. And add another three triple crochets or treble crochets to that space. So you want to continue making these. After I make these three treble crochets, I'm going to chain one. And then in the next space, I'm going to make three double crochets. Chain one. And in your next space, make three double crochets. And you just repeat this going all the way around. In the next stitch, you'll make your three double crochets. I said treble, I meant three. Uh, tr double crochets. <laughs> three double crochets in this space here. Chain one. And then make another three double crochets in the next stitch. So I'm making my final two double crochets into this space here. So I'm now going to continue making these all the way around. I've chained one. Now we're back to making that corner. So in your corner, you make three treble crochets, chain two, and then another three in that same space. That way you have your corner. And just keep making your way around. After, after you've made your corner, go ahead and make uh, another set of chain one. Make another set of double crochets in the next space chain one make another set of three double crochets in the next space and so on if you need to if you get lost just go back rewind the video and start over from the beginning where i'm starting the green portion so i'm going to continue making my way around and i'll be back at the beginning i'll meet you back at the beginning Okay, so now I'm at the end and I've already chained one. We're going to go back into that beginning stitch when we made our four chain. We're going to go right back into that same space with a treble crochet. We're going to put three triple crochets here in that same space. Your four chains in the beginning when we first started that row counts as a treble crochet. So you want to add three more here. This is going to give us our corner. So you want to have four corners total when you're done so go ahead and make these last stitches here when you're done making your three trebles you're going to go ahead and um, chain two because that's the space in between that connects those six trebles go ahead and chain two and then slip stitch into that top stitch that fourth stitch that you made that first chain and make a slip stitch in there and we're all done. So now 
You just have to take. Now you just have to cut off your ends and weave in your ends. I'm going to snip off this green and the other colors that I added on to here. And that is your granny square. I'm going to pull this through. Just pull it through and go ahead and weave in your ends. And that is your daisy granny square. So I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope that you learned something from it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram at Camtai Handmade Crochet. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.